What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the kitchen. We got a brand new Axe Inferno senior bat. We saw the U-Trip bats, saw real highly of them. So hopefully that senior bat will pick the way they left off. We got the flare knob. We got a 27 ounce balance. Let's go ahead and test it out. Humid day out here in Florida, about 88, 90 degrees. Let's see what it do. We got the brand new senior Axe Inferno, brand new in the wrapper. This is a senior bat? Wow. Okay, let's go. 81 miles per hour. Working? Yeah. 94 miles per hour. 89 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. 91 miles per hour. 93 miles per hour. I mean, those are cuts. Usually when I see you hit those, they're about 99 to 100. <laughs> what is that right now? That was 93. Oh, wow. The hardest I've hit was 94, which was the home run. But the thing about it, though, the bat's not compressing either. No. It's I'm going to test it. It's still, it's still hard to, to show, for real. <laughs> 95 miles per hour. That's, that's crazy right there. 96 miles per hour. Yeah, I've, I've been hitting 100, one or two with that. Yeah. I like three more. 96 miles per hour. 98 miles per hour. 98. 91 miles per hour. 95 miles per hour. There you hour. go. <laughs> there you go. 95, we double play though. <laughs> Unless Lee Miller's playing short. 81 miles per hour. The bat, the bat performs, but it ain't performing like no senior bat. 89 miles per hour. 89? Yeah. 87 miles per hour. 98 miles per oh, hour. Oh, 98. There you go. There you go. <laughs> 93 miles per hour. 77 miles per hour. Let's see a couple for Gene real quick. Yeah. 71 miles per hour. 97 miles per hour. There you go. 97. 73 miles per hour. 87 miles per hour. 88 miles per hour. 89 miles per bomb, hour. Though. That did sound good. There it is. Uh, no. 83 miles per hour. Take two. 94 miles per hour. It only came down to about 200. So in, in our opinion, probably need some more swings to get it to perform. So this is another one of those bats that we wanted to take some time and really put it into it instead of just judging it after 100 swings based on the compression. So right now, we're about a 200 compression on the back. So we're gonna put another round and see how it performs. Y'all stay tuned. I won't put it much ahead of the U trip bat though. Not yet at least. No. Sound a more like a you think there. Yeah, it, it, that's one it's missing the extra gear.
thought I was way gone. That sounded weird. It does sound real weird now, don't it? Yeah. Jumping off of it no more. It sounds dead. It has no trampoline. No. Like it collapsed, right? Yeah. There, one more. Here we go. That worked out. But it ain't went that far. No. Oh, it broke. It broke? It broke. Sorry, James. <laughs> Yeah, it's trying to see. I, 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 I can see from there. Y'all see them old man muscles? <laughs> 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 All right, man, so 150 swings, 200 compression, shark tooth. She's done. All right, we'll still give our final thoughts in the back. Don't wait for love. What's up, everybody? So, about 125 to 150 swings into the um, act. We're not gonna test it. We develop um, a nice little shark tooth. You know, um, I think it was an Allen's round. Started hearing the bat sound a little funny, you know. But I wanna talk about the bat real quick for the swings that we got out of it. Um, it was hard for me to figure out who this bat catered to. Because it came out as a balanced bat, but the barrel was more on the harder side. So, you know, you don't see a lot of people who swing hard barrel really swing in balance. They, they swing more end load so that they could get the uh, inertia with the bat. Um, just, just to, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. I did not feel like this bat performed any better than their U-trip line that has just dropped. I felt like with the U-trip line, we was able to get great performance. So I really had high hopes. Even the dual stamp was really, really right. good. But I'm disappointed because the bat started at 250, which some bats will start high, Damarini, Louisville, and it came down to about 200. So we're like, okay, it's not there yet. Let's put some more swings. So hoping that it would have got below 200 and we would have finally start to see the performance, right. get the bat flexing, but then it broke. So I don't know. I think a guy with slow hand speed would not benefit from this. Um, I don't know if a power guy would either because you, know, you gotta have some kind of butt in it. Again, I think I actually make really, really good products, but I um I don't know if they figured out this senior game yet. Right. Uh, yeah, man. Like Chef said, this this bat's a disappointment. I mean, we swung majority of their new U trip line, and those bats are fantastic from swing number one. Um, they outperform this hands down. Yeah, I'm not going to sugarcoat, hide anything. This was a big disappointment. Um, it's more disappointing that consumers waste good money on products and you get 125 swings out of them and they break. We got to get better than that. I mean, like Chef said, I ain't going to spend a whole I lot of time on this. Bet. I mean, unlike a lot of these other channels, we do pay for our product. So it's very disappointing when we spend this kind of money and we can't get no return on it. I think they have a 30 day guarantee. If you get your money back, it lasted two days for us. We're not, like I said, great U-trip bat, great dual stamp, you know. Um, I think the, the senior game is probably gonna need, not, not I think, it is gonna need some more work. Let's, let's right. be honest. Um, it will be hard to put this bat in the hand of a 45 or 50 year old guy and say, hey, swing this new bat. And like I said, okay. I know we can swing about anything and get the performance, but um, this just wasn't it. It's got a really, really, really hard barrel. And it sucks because yeah. Again, we're bat reviewers, so we're not, you know, we're just sharing. We're not trying to sell the bat. Yes, I know we got the code a headbanger, you know, whatever the case is. But you know, let's be let's be honest. Uh, people spend a lot of money, right? And you know, we got to make sure the product is worth it. And we're hitting the same balls, you know, the 44, 375 Evo, some BP rockets, as we do every other bat. 
So, and it's rare that we break bad this early. So, and it's, it's hot, it's 90 yes, degrees. It's, yeah, it's in the 90s, you know. And humid as hell, shouldn't be breaking bad. That is just an honest review, all right? Um, click, like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.